We got a corporal, a couple of snipers. Right, no, I don't want another sniper. Um, my heavy's still inactive. So we got sniper, sniper. Yeah, I don't want yet another sniper. Frag grenade, frag grenade, make hit, scope, scope. Okay, no, that sounds good. Not much else I can really do. So I'm kind of hoping that when the assault guy comes back, it's going to make the life a lot easier. I really could, well, the heavy. I need some more heavies. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. So again, avoid damaging the main spacecraft. Hmm. No, if you survive critical wounds, survive critical wound can recover, but suffers a permanent reduction to will. Oh, nice. So your guys can get severely wounded to the point that they become unusable. Okay. Right. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Again, we have to f deal with this. So we're going to Eyes on target. Uh, start the aliens. Might as well just start shooting. Might get lucky. Can I take it from here? Might as well. Let's see, I've got pretty good accuracy with that guy, so... Where is the other alien? No, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the run and gun. Means I can get myself some good distance. And I can still target, hopefully with them out of position. And then hopefully kill them. No, I'm not going to use you yet. Okay, we're going to bring you right the way around the edge. Going to kind of go for a flanking position. You are going to come up for this position. Not much else we can really do. At least these trees provide full cover, it's the height. So that's how it works out what kind of cover you've got. So you see, there would have actually been slightly better because I could have hid behind the tree. Getting uh, full cover over there. Just kind of now edge up. What kind of position have we got over here? So well, if we edge up again, just kind of keep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, wrong weapon. No. Don't want to hunker down. Where is the UFO? I'm going to get it there. I was going to say, I was going to guess where the great big fire was. But. Okay, so. Probably want to flank. So I'm going to keep him going right way around the edge. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Listen. Yeah, that's not good. I 
kind of got to send somebody up there to keep an eye on that. Because if I don't, I could get surprised. There I need to stay in order to get, make sure I've got cover from the side. And also watch the front. Really kind of need to send somebody up there on that side as well. Huh, <laughs> squirrels. If I go there, nowhere is particularly good. And that was actually a really terrible position. That's part of the main spaceship. So, uh, there's one over there somewhere. But I don't know where exactly. And of course, as soon as I find them, they're going to move. So I kind of got to watch who I send where. There's an awful lot of new stuff to take in. But this actually is a relatively simple game uh, to pick up. Mm, I would say run and gun. Moving to firing position. Make use of our new ability. Or our old ability now. And even though we noticed it didn't see anything, I guess it's a good view. Hmm. Kind of want to try and keep ourselves safe, so we might be a little bit exposed on that side, but we've got other people covering. We need to kind of watch this main entrance area. Yeah, there's definitely something around. You can hear it. Well, we might as well move up again. There's definitely something over here. But where, and if it's still around, there's another matter. We kind of need to start moving up to the ship anyway, so... Gonna need to start looking at the entrance, which I think is just around there, so... Bring him up. There's not really much else we can do for the time being. So there you go. She does really simplify all the actions. No, really? Yeah, I'm going to send him flanking out, because we heard that one thing over here. It doesn't look like there's actually really anything out here, so... I'm just going to move up a bit. But it looks like we're just going to get ready to actually enter the ship. Yeah, we're just going to sit here. And he's just going to sit there as well. This is where prox grenades would be really handy. Just throwing a couple of prox grenades by those do obvious door things. Hey, it keeps... Here they come. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. 
Well, he's out of position, so hopefully we'll be able to take this one down. Oh, look, we missed. Now, there's nothing there that we can see, so we'll move over to this one. Can I target? No, just gonna have to. I see the stuff in there. I don't want to move him up. What I can do is I can shoot with this guy. Probably from here. Well, he's got something. Not a lot else we can do. Yeah, we need better cover. He is out of good... C Whoa! Yeah, rocket... Rocket would have been great heavy. You know, we've got one point of damage. Might mean it's easier if we can get the assault rifle or something. What move is that? That's a complete reposition. Okay, this is interesting. Those things can completely reposition themselves on the battlefield. What effect does this have? And what is his chances? He is going to just come straight up to here. No, don't move. I've only got an 81% chance. Shame I didn't have the arc thing. Because that would have been just perfect for it. Right, headshot. I'm not going to get much of a better shot. Oh, got it though. Did not need better. Okay, other guy. Uh, we're just going to leave you on Overwatch. And you... Might as well just keep shooting. We're just going to try and pin you down. Nope. And we might as well just keep again. Keep on shooting. Hopefully that will make it move out of position. Uh, looks up. like... Uh, come on, sniper. Come on. No gotcha. Now, that does mean we should just have the one I detected somewhere over there. And there is actually there's still the sounds I heard from over there, so it doesn't necessarily mean that it's out of danger yet. Just merely that uh, those particular ones have been dealt with. Hmm. Right, I'm just going to spread out so we've got a sniper and uh, basically an assault on both sides. Nope, we're going to go on to Overwatch. So we've got at least one person watching each of these because I think this was something showing behind there. He is keeping an eye on that area. And then we just kind of make sure 
You take a slow entry into this place. Next turn we'll actually start the assault. Right, now that they're behind the door. So over here we'll send in soldier obviously. He can take up a good position. Sniper will come up. I'm gonna have to swap weapons so he can keep an eye on that door. At least until the next turn. And then soldier or my soldier to be come up and uh, just kind of get ready by the door and he's just gonna wait I haven't heard anything and then we come over to this guy there's not really a good safe place at all is there so we're just gonna leave him there because he's got a half decent view he's got more eyes over there where we heard the noise anyway so Again, we're just going to keep an eye out over there. We'll skip him for the moment. And then we're going to run and gun stick and move, stick and move. our way up to here. Very useful for breaching. New, I think whoever it is is probably in this area. Uh, so, no, I want to get you and I want to move you all the way over there because then you can kind of alert me. That's everything this term. Right, they're, they're moving around over here. So that's what's going on. So we'll rotate so we get a better view of this area. Swap gun. And we'll just come over and check this doorway. We'll still be able to retreat. In actual fact, we are going to retreat. We'll bring him up to go on Overwatch. So now these people, let's see. He should be able to go up to there. Open up the door. Okay, you go and go on Overwatch, and then we'll send the other person dashing across, and it'll give us a good view. So, they're actually all the way back over here. I'm just not finding this last one. Okay, so we'll send Sniper in. Let's be careful. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna come back to you because you have actually got the better shot. I think if you come to here.
Open up this door. And then you can't... No, you can't see. Okay, we'll dash you over to here then. Just slowly going to surround this creature. Um, I don't like that positioning. So what we're actually going to do is going to retreat you all the way back over here. What the hell was that? Seriously, what the hell was that? He was nowhere near line of sight. That's why I put him there. You know what? We're going to frag grenade. I don't give a crap. We need to keep these people alive. And you just cost me one soldier. Yeah. Now it's just... What the hell? He was like... That was through a wall. I don't know. Wow. Well, at least we got that completed. Yeah, we lose like one of our best people. Like... The one I've been keeping alive. Nice. Right. Rapid fire. Take two shots against a single... Each character minus 15... Fire a shot that causes them to run out of cover. Defense, defense, cover. No, we're going to use you to flush people out. Okay, we got another support. Sectoid floaters, lots of Illyrium, lots of damaged flight computers. So I think we can get rid of those damaged ones. And get a few, rid of a few of these corpses. Because we kind of need the money back. Because um, we kind of need to build new facilities. Which is a satellite uplink. Yeah, okay, right. Build facilities there. What does satellite uplink? Is there any bonuses? No. Hmm. Not enough power. Where's my power generator? Yep, that's fine, guys, but where's my power generator? As the alien attacks have become more frequent, our casualty rate has climbed. Our troop shortage is becoming a problem. We uh, should start screening potential candidates at the barracks immediately. No. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. There's no sign of power. 
So I've kind of got to make it myself. So what is that place? Research. There's not much we can really do. Got plenty of Illyrium and stuff like that now. There is, if I need it, only cost ten dollars. Yeah, I'll have some of that. I don't need new people. Still trying to capture the live alien. Okay, there's not much else we can do. Still waiting for the new satellite. Ah, new research. The new armor. Alien plasma technology. Substantial survivability increase. Right, so. Floater. Still. Skeleton suit. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, so power source, beam weapons, alien nav controller. The uh, further study improves ability to detect incoming UFOs. No, I, th no, I think beam technology. We need to get some increased offensive capabilities now. What we do now need to manufacture back. We need 10 soldiers. Uh, 10 engineers. Right, we need a new mission where we can get hold of engineers. So, we got to keep going. Oh, it's a terror mission. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. Okay, we have more things to deal with. Yeah, we kind of really got to do this one. Okay, let's clear out everyone. Okay, so. Oh, Heavy. Could really have done with you. Alright. Oh, what is the difference between my two support units? Abilities. You're a basic, Claude. Claude Gerard. Dennis Kasselhoff. Oh, right. I've lost all my good support people. Okay, it's good to know. So I've got. You as support or somebody else's support? Sniper and sniper. No, right. Edit units, loadout. No, that's customized. Loadout. Scope.
And he might survive, because he's got some damn good abilities. You can flush him out, he's hard to hit, he's accurate. This guy, low down. You know what? We're gonna go with the arc thrower. We desperately still need to capture one of those aliens. Um, med kit. Could do. Right, we still need to capture a live alien. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Okay, so we can begin our assault. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to take on this terror mission. It's just so many new things. Every mission we seem to be dealing with something new at the moment. Still also just figuring out, oh yeah, this is a hell of a lot to do with this game. So, we're kind of doing okay. We're not losing everyone. We've got some skills building up. Would nice to actually get my heavy guy back because he would be so useful. Oh my god, we're gonna save the civilians as well. Right. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. It's a standard terror mission! Yay! Right. Can any of you get on top of here? No. Can we not get on top of there? Is there any alternative routes through here? No, we have this route. Okay, so. Basically, we're going to run and gun. We're running and gunning because we can flick past there, trigger off any aliens, maybe in the vicinity, like so, and we still have the ability to shoot. So, you see, I can even still do something like this, which is flush. So, I could try and flush him out. Get your ass out here. We missed, but we did force him to move. Which means if that alien wants to take a shot, he can't. Okay, so. What we're gonna do is gonna bring him up. Kind of as I know it's a kind of a central area. Bit easier to be spotted, but we just kind of get some guns up in that centre. Need to get some of these snipers alive as well. So we can actually start getting to do stuff. Now there is a civilian over there. Can't move up too far at the moment. Now I'm thinking we move up here and dump some smoke, but it might not be necessary for the moment. For the time being, I suppose we'll come up and just go on to Overwatch. Just kind of keep somebody at least ready on shooting. Now, obviously, not really a big surprise, but we're losing a lot of enemy, a lot of uh, civilians here straight away. Thirty mm, percent chance, not very good. How often can we flush? Ah, flush is a high ammo shot. So that's interesting. So you can. Okay, so. If that alien is over there. 
We're gonna bring up some of our people. Actually, can I get a decent shot on them at the moment? No, I'd need to flank. And I don't really kind of want to do that at the moment. I want to keep so many guns on them. But I can bring you round. My two snipers I am going to bring around. I'm going to use those for uh, flanking and they'll head down along here. These guys are basically going to just keep this whole place covered. And also keep pushing forward. So it's actually quite interesting. You can only do one flush at a time at the moment. Wow! I don't think it's going to make any difference. don't think he's going to get you vacked out of there at all. He's a bit of a smear. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, right. Wow, that was... Let's just start hitting him. I was trying to. Right. Well, this is going to flush you out. With nothing else. Just cause you a lot of damage. Because hopefully, yes, he'll do that jump and reposition. Now that means he's got no ability to move either. So that does mean that my sniper... Ooh, and I think there's one just hiding back behind there. My sniper is going to have the chance to kill this thing. Okay, let's just make sure he can position him, him like right in front of it. Yes, fine. You position yourself all the way over there. I'll go take on this one. Again, if I had the other guy, it would have been handy, but I didn't. He's all the way over here. Now, I think if I move him up, this negates any hope we have of establishing a clear pattern of behavior among the alien species. The okay, that like the others. was Seems not like good. That went right in front of him. I really had better hit, basically. Oh, for a minimal damage. And also minimal damage. Oh, look, and he's dead. Right, well that's kind of good to know. I keep trying to reposition to get my sniper and my sniper's just going to have to keep killing him one by one. So I've got no opportunity to uh, capture an alien this time. That's another one down. Now we're going to swap over. I think I should 
Got to get a decent chance of headshot. Ah, no. Um. Hmm. Not going to risk that. In fact, we are just going to outright retreat the entire way. If I can't definitely kill them, I'm not going to try. We got one of those big. As it sounds. Oh. Well, it seems to have turned him into a zombie. Awesome. That's the chrysalid stuff. Yay! Those need to die as quickly as possible. Because we're going to get overrun by zombies. Oh, awesome. No, this is not a time to be suppressed. Do not suppress my people. Right, okay. Yes. Five damage, 100% chance of critical. Okay, let's do this. Not enough to kill them. Okay, we need to take this one down because it's too close. What we're going to do is we're going to flush him out. Can't kill him. Oh, we actually got it, but it stops us from being suppressed. We are unfortunately flanked on the other side, but we're not under immediate danger. We still got a zombie coming up as well. So we've got to get hold of the, one of those creatures and kill it. And it's up there somewhere. I guess we're just going to have to deal with endless endless zombies. Yeah, we're going to get This is going to hurt. Yeah. It's kind of why that guy was kind of there to die. You are going to have to try and target this one. You have a good chance. Hopefully you'll take him out. And then I will retreat back to here. This is a five-man squad, and I am down to two people left. Yeah. At least those things are stupid and just come straight at you. Unfortunately, it's a little too stupid. Oh, that's just ridiculous. I swear they are shooting through walls. Got to retreat to here. Good to go. It's also annoying. If your first action is reload, you don't get a second action. But if you move and then reload, you get two actions. I can't afford losing him. Okay, if I can get him to that, I am going to retreat him. But this is going to be a complete and utter bust. I mean, I've lost basically everyone. What was that sound? I cannot actually cope with this terror mission.
No, we're going to abort the mission. Yep. We killed seven aliens, but losing four operatives can't be done. Okay, Russia's withdrawn. England's in panic. France is in panic. Are they still... Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, and uh, things are not going well.